folks, let's get to a sensor replacement of the FD90A. As you can see, model FD90A is right there. I'm gonna show you how to replace the sensors on these little beauties. So just grab yourself a Phillips screwdriver and pop off these four screws at the back here. Now the main uh, attribute in a successful operation here is patience, folks. As usual, patience is key. Patience is important for our everyday lives, for marriage, as a parent, and actually as a good human being. So let's be patient anytime we're doing these type of operations, especially. Okay, look folks, take off the back cover and you will see two parts. Let's pop it down nicely. Okay, we have let me go through all the different components. Obviously the battery, the lithium polymer battery is right there. The motherboard, the CPU is right there. And this is the sensor board. It's right over here. Now it's it's contacted to the main uh, motherboard with some pins. So it's easy to actually just pop off. So what you do, these two little claws will grab the casing. These little two claws will grab the sensor board and it pops off just like that. Okay, there you go. There is the sensor. There is the electrochemical sensor. In this case, we're talking about a carbon monoxide sensor. And to pop that off, just again, keep the claws on the board and bang, there you go. Now, take note, take note. There are three pins on this guy and the layout is asymmetric. So you cannot be a goofball and put it wrongly. It's not gonna happen. It's been designed specifically so it's polarized, so it can only go in one way when you replace it. So throw the old sensor out, get your new sensor, come back, pop it in, just like so, go back and pop it on the main motherboard. Be very careful. I like to go on top first, make sure all the pins are aligned, okay? Do a good job, be sensible now. This is the time to be patient. And just very gently, with your little claws, pop it all in place, okay? And make sure you're not ripping any wires off and getting excited. And then slowly pop the back cover on. Make sure you're not squishing any wires on the edges. It looks good. And go again and screw those back. Now, as I'm screwing this back, I will say a few things. Now, when the sensor is in, what you have to do now is calibrate the guy. Now, what I mean by calibration is a full technical calibration. You're gonna turn the unit on. You're gonna leave it on. Now, if this is a brand new sensor, you're gonna leave it as it is off for 24 hours. I repeat, you're gonna leave it just like that for 24 hours, okay? You're gonna give it time to acclimatize to the environment, to the humidity, to the temperature for 24 hours. Then you will come back. You will turn on the guy, okay? In this case, the battery is flat, but you'll turn it on and you will perform a proper calibration. Proper calibration, you can check our videos, what I'm talking about. You're gonna zero calibrate, then you're gonna do a span calibration and then it's good to go, okay? So that's the process. Change the sensor, wait 24 hours, then perform a technical calibration. Three things you must do with sensor replacement. There you go, folks. Be well, be safe, and see you soon.